Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to the new episode dedicated to the most famous time traveler of social networks in the era of Adobe After Effects. As explained countless times in the comments and episodes 5 and 7 of this series, Javier has a team of TV professionals, as Beta Spain TV will soon release a new series based on this character. Yet, there are still many of us who believe that everything is true, that Javier has traveled in time to the year 2027, despite the fact that the web is full of evidence that disproves this story, which explains how it is possible to organize videos as the Unico Sobre Viviente TikTok channel. If you have followed all the episodes up to this point then you will have understood that Javier and the story of the Unico Sobre Viviente are pure entertainment, and that you should not hate them but appreciate the ingenuity, since today, so many still believe in him. We left our hero in the first days of December 2021, with 6.6 .6 million followers and 35 million likes. And today, in the first 10 days of March 2022, his channel has conquered another 200,000 users, reaching 6.8 million followers and 36.8 million likes. A remarkable noteworthy record on the TikTok social network. And although TikTok has announced that from 2021 it is possible to publish 10-minute videos, Javier's videos suffer from temporal dysfunction, so he says, due to the difficulty of finding an available internet network, so they last 10 seconds, sometimes a few seconds and more if we are lucky. A new user might say, so then I would be able to, to show deserted places in 10 seconds. The answer dear friend is, yes, but you came second, the first is Javier. After being in Barcelona, Javier returns to Valencia and shoots a series of very short videos, around the streets to prove once again that we are in 2027 and the place is deserted. And he does it, by going to some places in the center, such as in this video where he replies to a user. A user named Alejandro Perez, J34 writes. I've caught you friend, I work at the bar in the round square, and it doesn't matter how I put the tablecloths and that's full, you have Photoshop or something. So, a user points out that the tables are always set but in Javier's video they seem to be without objects. And this we have seen to be achievable using the Adobe software. As soon as the video starts, two distinct dark shadows are seen moving in the first mirror of the video, one is definitely Javier, the other one stops first so as not to get into the shots, it's probably a friend of his or a staff member, let's see the replay. and two other distinct human silhouettes can be seen as Javier walks, one seems to stop watching Javier along the corridor, the other is not clear if it is a waitress or a human figure from a display board. Surely it is a matter of a few seconds in which the shops were closed and no one was passing in that area. We remind you that for television needs, you can ask to cordon off an area blocking access to the public even for a few minutes. A sequence of comments in another video made me smile that I want to bring you here, I'll do the translation. If you break something, I believe you. I'm not going to break anything. Then don't demand that I believe you. Then everything is false, that's simple, because if you are alone, nobody would mind if you break a glass of a bank, for example. I do not demand anything. Curious attitude that of Javier, to be in a social network, let's say that he is not very sociable. And the users are right, if Javier were to break something, the TV crew would have to pay for the damages, or he would have to pay for it out of his own pocket. This explains why in two years of video nothing has ever been broken. Indeed this explains many other things, such as the attitude of an elderly retired person. For example, in this video he decides to move by car and instead of taking a super car to have fun, he takes a rental van. A user comment indicates the no smoking sticker printed above the dashboard of the car, another comment says, if I had been in Italy, for example, I would have looked for a Lamborghini, not a family car. <laughs> This reasoning is also supported by Javier's evident young age, and by dozens of videos that frame museums, old uninhabited areas with historical artifacts, libraries and other places that any young person would find boring after two years of extreme solitude. In another video we see Javier writing that he has decided to go to the square late at night, but as soon as he leaves the hotel where he was staying, in the neighboring buildings there is a room with a light on. Instead of giving explanations and responding to numerous comments from all over the world, he says nothing. And the questions in the comments are, so, is someone there? Who turned on the light in that room of that building? How does it get electricity? And so on. 
My personal opinion is that this channel does not broadcast what one would actually expect from the last man on earth, which could be anything. In fact, I believe that this is the key that would also explode the number of followers, making it rise to very high numbers. And I am referring above all to having moments of madness that would be more than justified for a boy after two years of wandering in thin air. Instead we find ourselves seeing videos that are not bad indeed, but they are not very credible. In this technological age, many things are and will be possible, they certainly need to be concretely demonstrated and I don't think it's enough to tell people that we are in the future without bringing concrete evidence. Thank you for watching and I give you an appointment at the next video hoping to find fun and stimulating material on our favorites. I leave you with the usual sentence, remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe. Don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.